This question says the population of Adamsville grew from 6,000 to 14,000 in five years. Assuming uninhibited exponential growth, what is the expected population in additional five years? So we're going to be using this formula for population growth, the uninhibited exponential growth. That looks like this, P of T equals P0 E to the KT. So make sure we understand the parts of this for a second. This P0 or P0, that's going to stand for our starting population or initial population. The K K is our growth or decay rate. And because this population grew from 6,000 to 14,000, I know it's going to be growth, and I know that value is going to be positive. Then we have T, which is time. It looks like this problem is dealing with years, so it'll be time in years. And this P of T, this is going to be the amount of the population after a certain period of time. The population after T time. So, looking at our problem again, just want to read over it one more time. We have that the population grew from 6,000 to 14,000 in five years. So we start with 6,000, and since we're starting with 6,000, that's going to be our P naught, our initial population. And then if we grow to 14,000 in five years, we have a time of five years, and we get to a new population, P of five, um, and that new population is 14,000. So I'm going to be able to use those pieces of information in order to find the growth rate. So let's do that. We take our formula, P of T equals P naught E to the KT, and in for P of T, that's going to be P of 5, that's 14,000 equals 6,000 e to the k. I don't know k right now, but t is 5, 5 years. Then I can divide both sides by 6,000. And that would reduce to 14 over 6. The 6,000s cancel from the right, giving me e to the 5k. 14 over 6 reduces down to 7 over 3. And then I can solve this exponential equation by taking the log of both sides. I'm taking the natural log of both sides. Because I've introduced the log, now I can use the power rule and bring this power out front. It's 5k natural log e. Natural log e is equal to 1. So that's 5k times 1, which is just 5k. And I can divide both sides by 5. And now I have k, the growth rate. Natural log of 7 thirds over 5. Now you could put this in your calculator and get a decimal answer but I don't want to round until the very end of the problem. And you can see even the directions here, it says do not round until the final answer. So I'm going to leave this alone for the moment. Now, I'm going to erase this, and let's read the question again to make sure that we answer what's being asked. So in this question, it wants us to find what is the expected population in additional five years. 
So we've been able to find our growth rate, and now we can modify our formula to be specific for this problem. We know that P0 was 6,000, that's our initial population, and we know the growth rate now is natural log of 7 thirds over 5. And so now if any moment of time I can find the population of this. So this says an additional five years. So we had five years to get to 14,000. We want to know the population in another five years. So that's going to be 10 years. So we want to do P of 10. So that's 6,000 E to the natural log of 7 thirds over 5 times 10. I'll type that in my calculator to see what I get. And we want to round to the nearest whole number. So in my calculator, I'm going to type 6,000 E. And I like to put the 10 in the front times natural log of 7 thirds, close parentheses for the log, and divide by 5. So that gives me 32666.6. You want to round to the nearest whole number, that's 32,667. So another 10 years, our population grows to 32,677.